what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. <laughs> All right, it's finally Friday, and we are excited because entertainment critic Ryan Jay is here with us today to break down what you should watch this weekend. Good to see you, Ryan. Good to see you both. Hello. Yeah. Hello, well, hello oh. to you. <laughs> <laughs> hello, gorgeous. How are you doing? You know a gorgeous grandma. Your mom is one. Yeah. She is. She yeah. is, yes. I, and I think of her. She's active. She was at your dog birthday party with Toto. Yes, she's a um, great dog grandma. Yeah, yeah. she's yeah, a dog grandma. Like the, yeah, exactly. yeah, I love that. Um, should we talk about movies? Why not? If we must, <laughs> we, we can, I guess. We could, keep talking, we? we could talk about my mom for five minutes. She'd love that. <laughs> oh, like, we like, love you, Margo. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So cute. Yeah. Okay, let's start with your first one. It's called The Gray Man. This is PG-13, and this is on Netflix. Yeah, it debuted in uh, theaters last week, but it comes to Netflix today. And the new movies this weekend all have in common that they're directed by Hollywood heavy hitters. This one's directed by the Russo brothers, who previously did two Captain Marvel movies, two Avengers movies. Wow. They reteam here with Chris Evans, Captain Marvel. Whoa. And Chris plays a villain in this one, and he's totally relishing the role. You can tell he's having so much fun. But the real star is Ryan Gosling, who is one of the greatest. Yeah, just scoot to the side so yeah. we can see his face. Oh, there, now we can see him. It was a close-up, and you, you were like, yeah. I yeah. love, I, I adore him. Yeah. Right, and why wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. To turn a phrase of Molly <laughs> Faye, why wouldn't you? Right, yeah. because he's so amazing. He's so yeah. versatile as an actor. Started out in the Mickey Mouse Club with yeah, Britney right. Spears and Justin Timberlake, yeah, and now he's like, so B.A. That's hilarious. Okay, okay, so tell us a little bit about, you talked about the director, a little bit about the supporting cast. Mm -hmm. You want to talk about the action? Yeah, time? it's really fantastic action. This movie had a budget of two hundred million dollars. Netflix is that it, a lot right now or yeah, a little? Oh yeah, okay. that's like that's still Just a, that's, sure. that's a healthy budget when I'm trying to make one for twenty thousand. So, <laughs> Fair. <you know. laughs> but it's it shows because the locations, the effects, the innovation is all there. It's fantastic. It's really interesting to see. It, it's a little bit James Bond, uh, born like identity uh, and Mission Impossible esque. Okay, do you have any critiques of this then? Yeah, like it's a negatively? Bit, oh, it, look it's at a that. little bit slow. So, okay. you know, but you're going to watch it on Netflix. So, stream it. It's wonderful. I would take a sequel. It may do well and get one of those, but it's. Question great. for you Will we get most movies that are in theaters onto like a streaming service? Do you know that? Well, like they, you said, this was in theaters and oh, then I onto Netflix. Oh, I thought you were Netflix. making fun of me. <laughs> no, no. Why? Did you, you ask that? Yes, I, I do it. remember. It's like a couple weeks ago. Oh, yeah. you did? Well, you know, all <laughs> movies after a theatrical run I didn't do come, do become available either on Blu-ray, DVD, or well, digital. Well, that I knew, DVD, right. but... So, so you can often get a digital copy, right, which is available <laughs> for purchase or rental through the Apple Store, you know, iTunes, oh, oh. things like that, or some of them will go to HBO Max. Warner Brothers usually does a deal with HBO Max. Uh, we see... Um, I was wondering more about, like, Netflix and Hulu and all that. No, a Netflix movie will go to Netflix. Some, some of the other ones, I guess maybe after a, a run where they're available for purchase, they Got might it. years later end up on Netflix or Hulu or Prime. You suffer fools so well. <laughs> Not at all. Our producer this is a good in our question. Ear. She's like, go That's on. Well, because our producer in our ear goes, move along. No, because <laughs> I know you could buy them. Right. I just didn't know if they it's, were intended for is, something right. like that. It's Netflix. good info, Katie. Right, whatever. Okay, yeah. the name of this next movie cracks me up. It's just nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah, this is from writer, producer, director. This Jordan, looks so scary. Jordan Peele, and he is a visionary. You know, he is the one who did Get Out mm -hmm. and Us. And I had such high expectations for this, whereas <gasps> those were terribly frightening yeah. and amazing, like instant classics. This one, not so much. <gasps> it does oh. not live up in comparison. How scary is it? It's not that scary. It's more of a sci-fi thriller. Oh. It's more like a Twilight Zone episode. And so there's a, it actually, it reminds me, it's very derivative of M. Night Shyamalan's Signs, which is also a much oh. better movie and is much more emotional. These characters don't have much of a story arc. Is it at least suspenseful? It is great layered suspense. Oh, and okay. visually, all of the, the greatness in this film is what's happening visually. And so I enjoyed it. I love Jordan Peele. I want to support cool. him. He's going to continue. But this is one you can wait to stream. It's not a must-see like his previous films. I'm okay. not seeing it. I've seen this it's comes up when I'm wa oh, watching yeah. other things, and I'm always like, "Oh, that's scary! I gotta like block my yeah, eyes." Yeah, it's not so. scary. There's some gross. The commercial and the trailer is yes. brilliant. It looks very scary. It's not. It's more of a sci-fi thriller than a horror. Good. To okay, know. I just yeah. don't like to implant images that no. don't need to be in my head. I get it. Um, <laughs> um, anything's possible. Now this is PG-13. It's on Prime Video. Mm-hmm. And this is the directorial debut of Tony. 
Emmy and Grammy winning star oh. Billy Porter, who originated the role of uh, Lola in Kinky Boots, the musical. He won the Emmy for Pose, and I love him, right? I mean, he's yeah, a, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's awesome. Okay, so it, does this one feel contemporary to you? Totally contemporary. It's a teenage rom-com, so it's kind Good. of like Billy Porter doing his John Hughes act, but instead <laughs> of set in the 80s, it's a teenage rom-com that's set today featuring a transgender teen in high school, so it's very now, and all the trials and tribulations, it's charming, it's romantic, it's sweet, it's funny, dramatic. It's a little techie even it looked there. Mm -hmm. I like that. Is there so what is the theme? Is it about acceptance? I love the theme. It is because the title says it all. Anything's possible. It's profound because the freedom of feeling anything is possible for your future. Some teens in high school feel limited by others. They're put in boxes. They're not able to uh, vis you know, experience what dream of what they're capable of. So that to have the freedom to believe that anything is possible in your future is uh, is a gift, right? Sure. And so I, I loved that. it. It's it's streamable right now. Stream it on Prime Video. There Stream it, go. which means watch it. Yeah, yeah. There you go. thanks, Thank Ryan. Thank you so much, Thank Ryan. You All right, you can like Ryan J on Facebook, follow him on Instagram and Twitter, and for his full movie reviews and entertainment reviews, you got to check out his website. It's ryanjreviews.com. And why wouldn't you? <laughs>